ओके आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू चैप्टर वन फ्रॉम द बुक इंडिया फिजिकल एनवायरनमेंट द चैप्टर नेम इज इंडिया लोकेशन इन दिस चैप्टर वी विल लर्न अबाउट इंडियाज लोकेशन इंडियाज साइज वी विल लर्न अबाउट इंडिया एंड इट्स नेबरिंग कंट्रीज then in the last i will teach you and give you some basic information regarding latitudes and longitudes students india is a large country and vast country india is the seventh largest country area wise all over the world all only there are six country which are bigger than india which are number 1 is russia then canada usa united states of america then china Brazil and Australia. Now I want to show you a map of India. This is the in political map of India. Okay, and mainland extends from Kashmir in the north to Kanyakumari in the south, and Arunachal Pradesh in the east to Gujarat in the west. and we, you can see that the latitudinal and longitudinal extension i will teach you about latitudes and longitude in the last just for now the latitudinal extends of india 8 degree 4 minute north here 8 degree 4 minute north to 37 degree 6 minute north okay and the longitudinal extends longitudinal extends 68 degree 7 minute east to 97 degree 25 minute east okay now i want to see show you something india is a vast country this is a political map you can see in the physical map of india there there we can see various physiographic division in our india like in the north you can see the himalayan mountain the great barrier which divide china and india okay and then you can see the huge coastal lines this is the eastern coast and this is the western coast then you can see the great desert in the west in the rajasthan region then you can see the plateau region in the middle okay and then you can see the three side it bound three sides are bounded by water body in the west arabian sea in the south the indian ocean and in the east there is a bay of bengal when a land mass three side bounded by water body that is known or that is called a peninsula okay remember this is very much important for one marks question okay now i will give you some basic information about our neighboring countries like in the north china nepal and bhutan are three neighboring countries of india then in the west pakistan and afghanistan are the neighboring countries of india then in the east bangladesh and maldives are the neighboring countries of india and in the south there are two uh, neighboring countries which are the island countries those are sri lanka and maldives which are situated in the indian ocean and sri lanka is divided from india by the pak state okay so this is that's it for the india location now i will teach you now i will teach you Uh, about the latitudes and longitudes students i think all of you have some basic knowledge regarding latitudes and longitude i will give you some information regarding latitudes and longitudes now okay latitudes and longitudes both are the imaginary lines okay latitudes are the parallel you can see here both are parallel okay but they extend east sorry east to west okay and the divide the earth into two part north and south they extend east to west but divide the earth into north and south the extreme latitude is the 0 90 degree north and 90 degree south which are known as the polar zone okay and 
the medial latitude is the 0 degree which is known as the equator I think you all of you know that the medial latitude is the 0 degree which is known as equator neither north neither south clear now longitudes longitudes are also some imaginary lines extends from north to south you can see here from north to south they extends but divide the earth into east and west clear then now by latitudinal extension we can measure we can identify any country's location or any place locations like our India's location in this region so that's that's why I, we say that the India is situated in the northern hemisphere okay and by longitudes also we can measure the location as well as by longitudes we calculate the time okay like uh, ISD in standard meridian 82 degree 30 minute uh, east which is our standard meridian in our India passes through the Allahabad Mirzapur states Uttar Pradesh okay these are the information regarding the latitudes and longitudes now, now I will give you some important uh, now I will give you some in, regard, info, information regarding the some different zone like as you see here that this is the equator 0 degree latitudes ok then in the north 23 degree 30 minute north this latitude is known as or called tropic of cancer what tropic of cancer 23 degree 30 minute north latitude then same latitude in the south also 23 degree 30 minute south which is known as tropic of capricorn okay next one is the arctic circle which is 66 degree 30 minute north value latitudinal value and name is the arctic circle similarly the temp uh, sorry an antarctic circle in the 66 degree 30 minute south and in the extreme point you can see uh, 90 degree north which is the north pole and the 90 degree south which is the south pole now this region from equator to 23 degree 30 minute north to 23 degree 30 minute south this region I, I want to say that, that this region is known as tropical zone or tropical region region why because sun ray sun ray comes in this region directly for that region th this region is very much temperate region and very much sunshine and uh, they can get some ample of sunshine okay then this region I want to say that the 20 from the 23 degree 30 minute north to 66 degree 30 minute north region this region and also this region in the south in the north 23 degree 30 minute north to 66 degree 30 minute north this region is known as temperate region region similar region in the south also 23 degree 30 minute south to 66 degree 30 minute south in latitudinal area present that temperate zone also then in the last from the 66 degree from the 66 degree 30 minute north to 90 degree uh, I want 90 degree north northern pole and similarly 66 degree 30 minute south to 90 degrees uh, south south pole this region is known as polar region also known as frigid region okay so these are all the main three zone tropical region temperate zone or temperate region then polar zone or frigid zone now our india's location in this region okay neither exactly tropical region and neither exactly temperate region okay and for that region india is situated in the subtropical region okay so that's it for today next day i will provide you some question answer regarding this chapter thank you